we got two deliveries. Um, we got the Agrifab 40 inch Tiny Thatcher and the Agrifab 40 inch Toe Pluggerator. Now I'm going to open them both up, put them both together. The first thing I realized with this product was how good the quality was. I wasn't expecting very much for $75. Uh, I was expecting some cheap, flimsy um, materials, but actually they're solid. And um, I found this out very quickly when I started the unpacking process. And it definitely looks like it's gonna hold up. So for this project, the instructions said to not tighten the bolts until a certain point. I followed this somewhat and it actually made for a really difficult build. I think if I had tightened the bolts sooner than I did, it would have made the build a little bit easier and actually faster. So just think ahead when you're doing this and don't be like me and follow the instructions fully. Here I started to use a battery drill uh, as an impact driver and it was not the best choice. It definitely um, was not controlled enough to put these bolts in. I also tightened them up too much when you meant to leave them loose. And it was actually noisy, it was getting later on at night, so it was not effective. Uh, two, two wrenches work just fine for this. You don't need to have a battery drill to continue. So I dropped that very quickly and just continued on with the wrenches. This part of the build is probably the easiest. It's just putting on the L brackets, which then support the toe hitch. These just need to be on and then you can, you don't want to tighten them up too much. So then you can attach the toe hitch properly. So when you are installing the hitch mount arms, there is adjustment on the back uh, bracket, so you can adjust the height or the angle. Uh, there is a carriage bolt that goes in here. I'm not sure if you'll see it here, but I actually tried to put the carriage bolt in the wrong way. I wasn't paying attention. I haven't figured out what this adjustment is for yet. I assume it's to adjust the angle of the tines. I haven't quite figured that bit out. Um, and maybe after using it a few times, I will figure out why or when I would adjust the angle of the toe arms to the base plate. Installing the axle bracket was probably the easiest part of this and then installing the wheels is fairly straightforward. It's just what happens after this with things not being tight. Uh, so that's where the issue started arising. This is the portion of the build where I started to struggle. I realized that I did not have a big enough screwdriver so I had to go to the store and pick up one. Uh, which definitely made it easier. Uh, you're really going to want to have a at least a six or eight inch screwdriver here and you have to position the tip of the screwdriver perfectly in that slot and then pull back. If it's not quite right the uh, tab will not give and you'll be forcing and the screwdriver will start to bend instead of the tab. So here you can see me put the tine in, pull it back a little bit slot the screwdriver in. I go a little bit too far so it doesn't want to bend so I just pull it out a little bit and there you go it just bends over perfectly. It says you want to roughly have the tab level with the base of the bracket and you start with the front ones first and work your way back so you don't get stabbed by the tines and then here you can see 
them all attached. Here we have the final uh, finished product. I was able to put the handle on. I just didn't record that because it's fairly straightforward to slide it through, but it's actually very difficult to attach to the axle bracket if you have not tightened up the bolts to the base plate. Please tighten the bolts to the base plate before trying to attach the lowering and raising handle. It'll make it so much easier.